Yo, it's your boy EJ back with another video. Today has been a great day. I just want to let y'all know how my day been going. So as y'all know, I put all goddamn 10 puppies in the back. They've been out there cooling and all day. It's night time now, so it's time for me to go get them. But, um, goddamn, um, my chickens and shit was getting out of the kennel, y'all. I put the chickens in the kennel beside the puppies, thinking that shit, they can't get out that motherfucker, man. I come out, they all over the yard, but then they end up running back, you know, in that motherfucker. So I say, damn, that ain't gonna work. Also, uh, it's gonna get down to 65 tonight, and they, uh, they're not supposed to get under 70. So it needs to be like 80, 80 degrees for them at all times. So they back in the garage after being outside for about four, five hours, man. Just getting used to being in the backyard. Cause there is gonna be some backyard chickens. I'm gonna get them just, you know, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get them a little coop built too. A little walk-in jump, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just get prepared. You know what I'm saying? Experience. I'm gonna get the shit from Trust Supply Company. It's like, you got the whole good thing. It's like a thousand dollars. You got the whole good thing over that motherfucker. And they got the chicken coop inside where I can really just walk in that motherfucker, grab eggs, dip out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably gonna get that once I go right. I'm gonna put that on the fence to the left side. So I'm gonna have the back side, kennels, retrievers, right there by the door, retrievers. Or I might fuck around. If I get, if I get the, uh, enough decks built how I want it, I'm taking the ones that's on the concrete off concrete and I'm putting decks. I'm gonna put decks right there, and I'm gonna separate each one of them. All right, cause I got the one in the back. I'm gonna separate all of them. I ain't doing none of that connect folk shit. You get what I'm saying? I ain't doing none of that no more. Every kennel I have is gonna be separate. I, I like to separate that way. Motherfuckers can't fight through the cage, can't piss on the other one cage, cause Navy got it bad, raise his leg up, pissing inside the other one, cause the shit they all shit connected. So I'm getting, I'm getting all that shit separated, bro. Uh, shit down next month, the month of May. Everything y'all see in my backyard is just gonna, it's gonna look different. I'm gonna have kennels probably in the back with decks on them, all of them. And everyone, like everybody, gonna have their own shit. Like I'm better walk through uh, Navy, boom, huh? Right there, she right there, he right there, just set up. On my patio right there where I got all that shit. See, man, I'm cleaning that shit all the way off. So I'm cleaning that shit all the way off. I'm probably gonna put my smoker back there. And, uh, like some yard shit. Um, my smoker back there. Put my fucking seats back there. Little chairs and shit. A canopy back there. Over that whole little area. Cause I'm putting all the dogs in the back of the yard. I don't even want the dogs by my door. Cause if you know, if anybody own dogs know, when dogs piss and shit, flies come, and they right at the back of your door, you either gonna smell the shit in your crib, or it's just gonna be like, as soon as you open your door, flies just rush in. So we're gonna get all that shit built. I'm gonna get the whole back fence built up with kennels. Uh, I already got the kennels, I just gotta get the decks. But they're gonna be built up with decks and all that type of shit. Shit gonna be live, y'all. Shit gonna be live, man. And I'm getting prepared. So I'm gonna have my coop out, my chicken coop on the left side. Um, all the kennels built up, spaced out on the back side of the fence. Um, little barbecue smoking and shit right here on the patio. Well, I got it already concreted down. Like that shit gonna be perfect once I get some shit extended over that crib. Like, I'm gonna make this motherfucking house the glittest. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make this shit jump and shit gonna be like paradise over in my crib. And I'm just getting myself prepared for my rent. You know what I'm saying? Cause I am gonna buy, I am gonna buy me some land, and I'm gonna make it a ranch. I'm gonna have my animals. I want my cows. I want a couple of pigs. I want chickens. I want to uh, show dogs. You know what I'm saying? I want a motherfucking uh, couple of horses. Not too many horses. Horses. I don't. I don't like too many horses. Probably like two horses type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? A real big one and a, another one that's big too. Like, but just two horses. I don't want no more than two to three horses. Probably two big horses and a small horse to kids. No more than three horses, you know what I'm saying? I don't want a bunch of horses, just a few. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be fun, man. My life is going to get real, real, real beautiful. It's already taken off 
It's already going on, man. It, um, the shit I got in order, how I'm gonna do it, man. Like I always told myself, you gotta speak that shit into existence. You gotta manifest that shit. Also, you gotta put behind the effort after you say it. Once one thing saying and writing it down, but you're not literally putting in the effort every single day to better your situation, to better your your, your environment, your space, your mental, that shit is not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna come to fruition because you are, it's, 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 it's negative. It's negative to speak some shit on you and then don't put no work into it. You know what I'm saying? That's just negative, bro. That's, that's, that's not believing in yourself, that's second guessing yourself. It's just, it's too much going into that shit, man. So if you ever gonna speak on something in your life, you gotta put the effort behind it or, or you or you done made it some shit that can never come true. You know what I'm saying? Keep dreaming, keep grinding. Like I told y'all before, I started in a one bedroom apartment. It was just me, my girl, Navy, and I ain't had no, uh, yeah, I ain't had no kid then. I mean, I ain't had my, my youngest daughter then. It was just me, you know what I'm saying, Silver, and my dog, and Leah, you know, my other daughter, but she wasn't actually in the apartment with me. But yeah, man, I just, that's where I started, bro, like, and I was doing some other shit, grinding, putting in the work every day um, for years, bro, years. And I had Navy for years before I ever bought another dog. And I spent a crazy amount on Navy. Like, I got the best shit from Navy, the best blood in the game four years ago, the, the top names, everything. I bought the best shit, you know what I'm saying? Structure perfect, temperament perfect. The dude just athletic, he's strong. He's just the perfect dog. So I just rolled it out with him for all these years. So when y'all knew, if you know, if you if you buy some shit like that, you know you don't go you don't go down. You know what I'm saying? You don't go buy no great shit and then start buying bullshit after that. No, and then I bought Navy. Navy was the first thing. So you know everything after him was gonna be better. It was gonna be greater. It's gonna be the future, huh? Like, uh, I bought Navy personal dog. Yeah, I love him as a personal dog. Then I looked, I said, okay, I'm finna get some more bully shit. Go straight bully shit. I'm seeing what, yeah, bully, oh yeah. I got Navy, he like a, some big, big XL shit, different shit. I said, oh yeah, I'm finna go bully. I'm finna fuck the game up. I was ripped. I went straight Mega Bill Bullies. What they got from Tonka? Uh, boom. Oh yeah, lined up. Howard Sparta Bully. Oh yeah, they got some shit. Oh, they put that, oh yeah, let me get that much. It don't even matter, fuck it. It's only two murder. Two murder. So, let me get them. Zeus. You know anything about Zeus, you know, if you know anything about our job, he on double, he two times our job. Nigga got Boston blood, nigga, bro, he got, bro, he got some of everything. Zeus got some of everything and he got it two times. Zeus is from a lime bread family. Zeus is from a lime bread family. That's why I'm saying two times this, two times that. Hollywood shit, like, he from a lime bread family, bro. So, you know, everything about him is just, he's so correct. Zeus is just so correct. He just like the perfect bully. Nigga, he weigh more than Navy do. Like, on some weight heavy shit, this nigga heavier than Navy, bro. Like, thick, neck thicker than Navy. I put a choker chain on Navy, it, it'd be loose. I put it on dude, it'd just be, you know what I'm saying? It's not it's not loose. You can't really do nothing with it. Like, dude, neck so big, bro. And I, I just put him with Nyla, bro, on some taller shit. But still bully. I'm so excited, bro. I'm so excited for the future and my shit. I'm so excited to have Zeus. I'm so excited to have Navy. I just added color with Roxy. But y'all, she from great shit, too. It's just beautiful, man. Um, My next my next five years is going to be so amazing. Y'all going to be able to just look like, bro, I remember dude was in the one bedroom. I remember dude was in at the house over there. I remember when dude first got died. I mean, when dude moved to the house in Texas and had his first litter in 2022, you know what I'm saying? I've just been doing this shit since 20, I bought Navy back in 2017. I had my first litter in 2022. That goes to show, bro, it took five years. That goes to show, like, never give up. That shit can happen, bro. Five years ago, I started this shit five years ago with one dog, just learning how to even deal with him. I don't even handle such a, a big, powerful dog and such a beautiful, loving dog. And from sleeps this nigga that had with me from swimming in lakes to everything. Like, I've done it all. Hikes, camping, um, 
flipping cars, travel in a car all over, just everywhere, bro. I'm talking about dude been in so many different states, hotel living. I'm talking about moving and grooving, making money, making 10, 20,000 a month, week on some grinding with dudes just with me everywhere I go. Like, wherever I go, the plays I was making, everything I was doing, my dog was just with me, bro. Navy was just with me from high boxing, chilling, on a mission. He yeah, going to sleep in a car. He right there with me. He waking me up. Like, come on, it's time to go get up. You know what I'm saying? Go outside. Go outside. We both out there pissing. You know what I'm saying? We jump back in the whip and we gone. Like, that's my dog. Navy is my dog, bro. I spent four, three, four years just living with dude and, and you know, being a part of his life and learning him before I ever bought another dog. Making money, grinding, stacking. Before I ever bought another dog, bro. And anybody that know me can contest it. It's like, anytime they saw me, bro, they're like, ooh, he that dude that got that big ass dog when he, you know what I'm saying? He always with me, bro. Even my kid, like, it's always just us, bro. I don't got to worry about him with my kid. My daughter be with him, like, all type of shit. You know, we go to sleep. My daughter and then went in there, went in there with him. You know, he's chilling with him type of shit. Like, maybe just, he been around forever, man. That's my boy, man. Um, this shit finna take off, y'all. telling y'all. It's beautiful. I'm glad to be, to be able to do this. I'm glad I brought a lot of y'all along with me. It's a lot of NBA blood all over the place, and I'm seeing the production. I'm seeing them work, I'm seeing them how y'all treat y'all dogs, bro. Everybody I sold a dog to, bro, I love y'all, bro. I love y'all, bro. Y'all be really on y'all shit. Y'all motherfuckers ain't make YouTube accounts. Motherfuckers ain't doing all this shit. Motherfuckers just grinding with them dogs. Motherfuckers seeing what I did and see how I carry myself and how I'm taking care of it, how I'm vlogging and everything. They said, bro, I'm finna do the same shit, bro. I was like, damn, I done motivated motherfuckers. This love, and I love it. It makes, it means so much. And then y'all done bought dogs for me. Like, bro, what y'all done fuck with y'all done shot with me? I can't wait to shot with y'all one day. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait for y'all to put some shit together and go on with your own line and do your own shit. You know what I'm saying? And then I'd be like, damn, look what they done. I, done, I want some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me go shop back with them. They done put some shit together. I, I gotta buy from them. Because they bought for me. I fuck with shit. Like, that shit's so big, bro. Doing this dog shit is so big, bro. It's gonna have you meeting people you would have never met, bro. I would have never met none of y'all, bro, if I ain't if I ain't put my heart into this dog shit. If I was just kept doing what I was doing and you know and put myself in a position to be gone away from all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I did something completely different, bro. Like this shit working, bro. This shit working, bro. Bro, God real, bro. Bro, that shit, that shit up there, the energy. And I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about, the, like, we real, bro. Like, I believe we all God. Like, we can do good. We can do evil. We can do good shit. We can do those shit. We can really manifest some shit. We can really make whatever we want to happen, happen, bro. Like, we really can do it. Like, I'm, bro, I'm a perfect example, bro. You can do it, bro. You just got to get up every day and do what you're supposed to. You literally got to, I don't care, days you don't feel good, nigga, days I'm sick, nigga, I know Navy got to go outside. You know what I'm saying? I know he got to go outside. I don't care how, no matter what's going on, now. I'm, I'm dog sick, nigga, threw up. Let me, I'm crying, I'm getting to the door, how to open the door for him. You know what I'm saying? He go out there and come right back. Mm. He back at the crib, like, and nigga, he lay under me, like, this is my boy, like, that, that told me a lot about life, like, I know I'm rambling and shit, but I just had to, while it's, on, while it's fresh on my head, I had to tell y'all, like, we are supposed to live with animals, be bombed. We're supposed to be attached to them. Because I promise you, bro, no matter what's going on in the world, my nigga, that shit, they get up on a routine every day, no matter what. No matter what's going on in the world, my nigga, niggas can be getting shot right in front of, you know what I'm saying, next day. Uh, you know, anything can happen, but they can lose a sibling, they can lose this, they can lose that, they can, motherfucker, anything, bro, can happen, bro. They gonna get up every day with a the, with the routine to eat shit, piss, and, and be affectionate, you know what I'm saying? And shit, that's why fucking animals, man, they all gonna routine, man. They not, they not going by no made up shit, not what I say they should be doing, or what I think they should be doing. They, they live on routine, man. They don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. 
But it go, it had me back on my animalistic shit. Like, bro, just, just keep, just get a routine, bro. Fuck everything else. Fuck what you think you should be at. Fuck who you think who you should be kicking it with. Fuck what you gotta. You feel like you need to be fitting in and hang out. Fuck you need to feel like you need the bodies to look like this, bro. Dolls and animals don't give a fuck what they what they look like. You know what I'm saying? They get up every day on a routine, bro. I said, bro, I'm finna give me a routine. And having a dog put me on a routine that I couldn't avoid. I couldn't avoid it. And that routine has got me so far, y'all. Only thing I started doing was putting the, my routine on camera, bro. That's all I did, bro. I just started videotaping my routine. That's what I'm doing. Like, I got videotape my routine. Oh, yeah. All these are clean. I cleaned them all out. All of them are clean. Cleaned them all out. I got to go get the puppies up. Probably just out of the backyard. The temperature ain't dropping too low right now. Um, it's gonna be like 65 degrees. They all damn the nine weeks. They straight, literally. They can stay out there all night. But I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get them and shit because I like to. I like to look in on them. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the night, like if I can't go to sleep or something, I like to come in the garage, blaze me one, just look at them type shit. And it just it keep inspiring me to keep going, man. Inspiring me like. At the end of the day, these motherfuckers gonna grow up and all they want is food, water, and love, my nigga. And that's all I want. That's all I give to my family. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I give them so much love and, and appreciation. I do for them. I help them out. I'm there for them. Like, whatever they need, whatever they need, I'm there for my family, bro. And I've always been that way. I'm the only son, so, you know what I'm saying? Shit be like that. So I learned a lot. Like, I learned how to, no matter what's going on, bro, ups or downs, shit gotta get done no matter what. No matter what the fuck going on. So get up. Get you a routine. I say this to say this. Get you a routine. And don't break it. Don't break it. Whatever you do for the next five years. Going to determine the five years after that. Real shit. Whatever that you do for the next five years. Going to determine the five years after that. So don't don't look at yourself and try like. Oh in ten years I'm going to be here. All this, uh. No. Do one day at a time. And once you hit five years. Then reflect. You know what I'm saying? Once you hit five years, then reflect on your previous five. Look at your growth right there. Not by the week. Not by the motherfucking month. Not by the semester. Not by the quarter. Not by the year. None of that shit. Don't look at life right there. Life ain't built right there. Don't nothing happen right there in that short of time. Like, you got to put... I'm sorry, some, some miracles do happen, my nigga. But that shit miracle. That shit look. But if you want to do, like, real life shit, like, what you know going to work, do it five years you gotta do it for about five years take about five years do something for five years bro i don't give a fuck what it is my nigga if it's goddamn raking leaves or fucking trimming bushes nigga in five years time nigga it's gonna be a it's gonna be a position for you in the world my nigga whatever you do whatever you do for five years it's, the world gonna open up for you it's gonna be something in the world for you and that shit gonna take care of you financially I love y'all, man.